Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. I have here an amazing material, carbon foam, which I made myself quite easily, in fact, and I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. But first, some demos. Here's some aluminum that I melted on this ablative tile, and it's, uh, it's actually a, an excellent refractory because it's foam and an excellent insulator, both electrically and thermally. It's an amazing material. Stick around, we'll do some demos. And this started out as an everyday household staple. You're gonna be amazed at what I made this from. Now this is surprising. I pulled out the DMM to check the resistivity, the resistance, and it is conductive, but very, very high resistance in the mega ohms. I would have thought because it's carbon, it would be just like graphite and be a, a good conductor, but it's not. It's a terrible conductor. Now this carbon foam is an amazing material. It'll withstand 6,600 degrees centigrade. Uh, normally, like any kind of metal, would just melt. And it doesn't, this material won't melt, it sublimates, so it turns directly from a solid into a gas. And you can see here the flame just went out. It's not even hot. Just slightly warm. So here we have an initial try at an ablative uh, carbon foam tile. And it's a little misshapen, but it'll be good enough for our purposes. And I'll tell you what it is. It's white wonder bread. I want to show you something really amazing. This is a K-type thermocouple, and it will go up to 1300 degrees centigrade. Let's see here. We'll warm it up a little just with our fingers. It comes right up. Now, watch this. As our control, we're gonna put the flame over the thermocouple just for a heartbeat, and it comes up to 600 degrees C. Just by waving it over. Here we have an oxyacetylene torch. Extremely hot. I'm gonna light it and blast it at the carbon foam. And then we'll check to see how much heat is actually getting through there and affecting the thermocouple. That's the amount of heat getting through that. Glowing red hot. Now we're gonna test this as a refractory for melting aluminum. Here's a, a chunk of cast aluminum. We're gonna go ahead and melt this on top of the carbon foam. for Wonder Bread, the ghettoest of breadly goodness. A guilty pleasure to be sure. Here is our calcinator, not our calcinator, our carbonator. <laughs> and this time it is a, no, a carburizer, not a carbonator. I'm gonna drill a hole, what for, putting argon into inert gas and also uh, letting some of the volatiles come off of this when we cook it. Now we insert the guilty pleasure. Wait. Wonder Bread. This stuff is essentially just plain old sugar when it hits the amylase in your saliva. The same thing happens to potatoes. You know, they make vodka out of potatoes, but yeast won't eat complex carbohydrates. It needs sugar. They need to add amylase, an enzyme, in your spit to turn carbohydrate into sugar. Of course, there's also that drink. Uh, it's either in the Andes or like Peru or somewhere like that where it's taro root and the, the women chew it up and spit it into a big bowl and then it ferments with the amylase and uh, then the men drink it and get, oh yeah, nasty. Now before I go ahead and actually heat this carcass up, we're gonna fill this full of argon just with an adapter, a felching tube from the TIG welder, no big deal. Jam it in there, of course argon is heavier than air so as long as we don't uh, disturb it too, too much, it should stay in there a fair bit. And then we'll put the bolt on and hopefully then only the hot 
uh, organics are escaping and no oxygen gets in. Time will tell. Oh yeah, you smell that? Toast. And this time, it's not a stroke. Good things, they are a happener. Two things, missed the spot on the well, on the corner, and second thing, of course, nice yellow flame. That means the volatiles are cooking off. That's great. It appears to be burking. It's been a good three quarters of a beer now, and as you can see, very little yellow flame, which tells me we cooked off most of the organics. I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down, let her cool naturally, and we'll crack her open, see what we get. So that's what's in there. A beautiful, carburized, shrunken toast. <laughs> now we're gonna do some experiments. Thanks for watching. Keep your slice in the slot.